Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 278. Now today, the collectibles of the day are the Lego Group, Marvel Comics, Spider-Man Series, Mixed Character, Minifig Set. Spider-Man first appeared in Marvel Comics Amazing Fantasy in 1962. The following year, he was given his own comic book series, The Amazing Spider-Man. This was soon Marvel's top-selling title, and the character became a cultural icon. Everyone in the world knows what Lego people look like. Over the past 40 years, they've released more than 8,000 different minifigs. They come in Lego building block sets and can also be purchased individually. Created by the Danish Toy Company, a minifig is 1.6 inches in height and generally features six parts. My Mixed Spider-Man series minifig set above includes Spider-Man with black web pattern introduced in 2012 in the Doc Ock Ambush set, the Scarlet Spider with short legs introduced in 2018 in the Mighty Micros Scarlet Spider vs. Sandman set, Sandman was first introduced in 2015 in the Rhino and Sandman Supervillain Team-Up set, and last but not least is the Green Goblin, introduced in 2015 in the Spider-Man Hideout set. All four of these minifigs are genuine Lego and were released by the Danish toy company Lego Group. The comic of the day is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number one, Volume 1, the facsimile edition, released in October of 2022, originally released in 1963 in March, with story by Stan Lee, art by Steve Ditko, and cover by Jack Kirby. This story is titled Spider-Man. With the Parker household desperate for money following the death of Uncle Ben, Peter Parker decides to continue in show business as Spider-Man. However, not only does he find it impossible to cash his paycheck, made out to Spider-Man, but the irrational editorials by J. Jonah Jameson in the Daily Bugle effectively quelch his career. Besides denouncing Spider-Man as a publicity-seeking phony, J. Jonah Jameson also publishes articles lauding his son, John Jameson, a courageous astronaut about to be launched into orbit in a space capsule. J. Jonah Jameson calls his son a real hero. The day of the launch finds Peter Parker at the launch site as an observer. The rocket takes off successfully, but a guidance system error causes it to go wildly off course and re-enter the atmosphere. Spider-Man appears at the launch site and offers to replace the defective 24-3B guidance unit in the plunging capsule with a spare. Because there's no way for the military to get to the capsule in time, they allow Spider-Man to try. Spider-Man commandeers an aircraft and pilot, and together they fly towards the space capsule's re-entry point. Although the capsule is falling fast, Spider-Man manages to get a hold of it with his webbing and climbs aboard. He quickly replaces the faulty guidance unit. As a result, John Jameson regains control of the capsule, gets it properly oriented, and opens its parachute. To the joy of all concerned, the astronaut is saved. Thinking that Spider-Man has at last proven himself, Peter Parker is shocked when he reads J. Jonah Jameson's editorial in the next edition of the Daily Bugle. Spider-Man is accused of deliberately sabotaging the space capsule and staging the rescue as a publicity stunt. With public opinion turning against Spider-Man with each new editorial in the Daily Bugle, Peter Parker's position is as hopeless as ever. Geek Fact The first issue of Amazing Spider-Man actually contains two stories. The other story is titled Spider-Man vs. the Chameleon. Bonus Geek Fact This is considered a major key issue, not only because of it being the very first issue of Spider-Man, but it's also the first appearance of J. Jonah Jameson, John Jameson, and the first appearance of the Chameleon. Another Bonus Geek Fact 
Spider-Man's very first appearance was in Amazing Fantasy issue number 15 with the cover date of August 1962. Another bonus geek fact. The events of the story I told is expanded upon in Amazing Spider-Man volume 3 issue number 1.1 with the cover date of July 2014. Another bonus geek fact. Jameson's crusade against Spider-Man was fueled by the previous mentioned Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3, Issue Number 1.1, and Amazing Fantasy, Issue Number 18, with a cover date of March 1996. Another bonus geek fact. The first appearance of Sandman was in Amazing Spider-Man, Issue Number 4, with the cover date of September 1963. And you guessed it, another bonus geek fact. The first appearance of the Green Goblin was in Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 14, with the cover date of July 1964. And final geek fact. The first appearance of the Scarlet Spider was in Spider-Man, issue number 52 with the cover date of November 1994. He appeared before that, but he only appeared as a clone. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for today's Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. <laughs>